The source code outliner is another pane you can put into Visual Studio, like the Solution Explorer or the Team Explorer, that gives you another way of finding your way around your code. I have uh, a fairly large piece of C Sharp code um, here, and I'd like to sort of work through some of how this tree view works for you. You can see uh, over here, it is a tree view. Not very exciting because there's only one class in this file, but I can go in here and hover over things to get little tool tips so I can find out that internal update is of type bool. I can um, check out a function like say dispose by just double clicking and going to it. If I go into another uh, file, I get obviously an updated version of the tree. And I can move around fairly quickly. Now some files are organized differently than others. The view over here in this tree view is just the order that things are in the file. So you see here this person has put all the internal static things together and they're all clumped together with the same symbol and then uh, a number of private static uh, there here with the little lock symbol on them because they're private and then all of their uh, events and finally all of the properties. Now that's a particular developer's choice. I think most of us, our applications probably look like this more of the time, where there are things together that belong together, so you can see that the underlying private variables and the properties uh, tend to be next to each other, but they're not in alphabetical order. There's something that starts with I up here and some more things that start with I down here and so on. And when you're facing a slightly bit more chaotic uh, organization, that's when these controls up at the top of the view are really helpful. I can say, just show me properties, and here are just the properties. Just show me events, and here's the one event that we happen to have in this file. And same thing, I can continue to sort of click on them here, and whatever else you might expect that we would want to do. When I have it uh, narrowed down to, say, methods, um, I can type a letter, and we can filter just to, to methods in this case that start with that letter. I can say I'd like to see uh, properties and uh, you know just properties that start with uh, the letter I and so it, it continue to filter even more narrowly if we need to if seeing uh, just the properties just the events or whatever uh, aren't everything that we need uh, now this tree view here there's only one class in here but if I have a file with multiple classes obviously I would get uh, multiple nodes in my tree now, I've shown you all this in C Sharp, but it also works in Visual Basic. I have another Visual Studio open here with a Visual Basic project, and you can see here the various private member variables on this Visual Basic form and the methods, including some that are handlers for these uh, uh, controls that you see down here. And if I double click on them, we actually flip into the code file, uh, and I can now edit the code or do whatever I need to do. Once I'm in here, obviously uh, clicking in here just continues to bot me around within my application. So uh, whether you're writing in Visual Basic or in C Sharp, whether you're writing Windows code, Windows Forms or WPF, whether you're writing web code, doesn't matter, could be a class library, uh, the source outliner, simple, uh, naturally intuitive view to help you move around your code more quickly.